All right, so this is going to be the part where we're just introducing the event overall. Yeah, ask me why did, why are we having this event. Okay, that'd be a good, that'd be a good question. Yes. I like that coat. I like that color. Yeah, and you can ask what's the latest on the case. What? What's the latest on the case? Okay. Why are we having this event? All right. Fantastic. Um. Anyway, just on the case. Why we're having it? And uh, something. Yeah. So I'm sure I'll you'll spark questions in me with your answers. Right. It always happens that way. We get the signal. Are we looking for a signal or what? Are we, are we, are we live? I think we probably are live actually right now. So we we probably just gave our little uh, um, our little pre-show interaction. We just gave a preview of what we're going to be talking about with our little interaction about can, what we're. Because I think I'm we are. Recording. I'm recording uh, here just, just to have it. But, can uh, you can you ask Ted if we're live? I think we might be live right now, and we gave you a little preview behind the scenes as we get up to the lead up to the interview. Folks, if we're live, we don't know it yet, but if you can see us, we're going to start the show in just a minute here. We're, we're running 15 minutes late, but you haven't missed a thing. Uh, the sausage gets made right here. <laughs> this is a, yeah, this, I knew it. This we were live. This is our, live. I should have known that when we were talking, because I, I knew is, it up there. That's our all-volunteer network. Okay, yeah. we're going to start so now. Just keep it. As some of you who are already watching know, we are at uh, it's a, a Voter GA event, the fundraiser, minus the D, fundraiser. And what is the purpose of this event? Here with Garland Favrito, I'm Brad Binkley, co-host of the Propaganda Report. Garland, so what, what's this event for? Well, uh, a couple of things, Brad. We wanted to thank all of our volunteers for our Voter GA, which stands for Voters Organized for Trusted Election Results in Georgia. We wanted to give them a big thank you. And um, we ended up having a benefit concert. Aviva has, uh, has volunteered to do a benefit concert for us. And that's we've got so many great volunteers. So this is a way to, to thank them. But most importantly, uh, Aviva is one of the best kept secrets in Atlanta. We wanted to share her with the national audience as a means to thank you for all the uh, contributions that have come in that's keeping us alive and it's helping our fund our ballot inspection which we hope will be coming up uh, very soon and Brad will talk a little bit about that more in a minute so it's a thank you to them and then uh, the third thing is we're going to launch a multifaceted uh, approach in the next couple of weeks you'll see that we have lots more uh, planned and uh, just stay tuned for that you, know, you learn something new every day I didn't realize that voter GA that was actually an acronym as well as voter so uh, yeah, yeah interesting so well, what is the latest well, well, the key word is trusted. Trusted. Yeah, yes, voters organized exactly. for trusted election. Right. Right. Yes, what's the latest uh, on the voter? Yeah, so the, the latest, just Friday, we got a um, a um, note from the court. We've gotten uh, a couple of motions that came in from the defense. We have a, um, uh, a attempt, there's going to be another attempt to dismiss the case, but some of the, the defendants are kind of split on that because some of the defendants want to get to the bottom of it. So so uh, they're the board members. They really want another trip. So that's uh, that's good for us because they're not going to oppose us. Fantastic. They keep trying to kind of railroad you a bit, and you guys continue to stick to the facts and reveal what you have revealed, as opposed to going further than that. And nobody in the country that I have I found has actually debunked anything that you have done. They've actually confirmed it in their debunks, and then tried to kind of move the goalposts and what they're what they are debunking. So you guys are doing a fantastic job, and I'm looking forward forward to Aviva playing in yeah. the band and the rest of the event. And, and the, reason, the reason that for that is we're very careful about our facts before mm -hmm. we put them out. We double check, triple check, and we know that they're going to try to do that. So yeah, that's yeah. why we're so careful with our facts. Yeah, and you you won me over. I thought when you were in the, in the beginning of this, I anticipated that you would continue to get railroaded. But you did, but you stuck to it. And as you revealed the facts, you started to actually win some of these uh, court, court issues. And and started to be able to actually show proof of what's going on here, and it's a fantastic job. Well, thank you, Brad. And then, you know, we've got a great law lawyer, uh, Todd Hardy, 
and the key is persistence. Uh, you know, I've been doing this for 18 years, and uh, and we just have not been willing to give up on this. The people of Georgia have to have an, a verifiable, auditable, uh, transparent system. I got one more question for you. Is this the most exciting and controversial your work has been since you started this in the 18 years you've been doing it? It is the most exciting and controversial, Brad, and it's going to get more exciting and more controversial before the end of the month. We have lots more uh, coming, and a lot of that is thanks to you, the folks who are around the country who are supporting us. We're really grateful to you. And Fantastic. All right, thank you. Uh, so we'll be up at VoterGA.org. Please, uh, if you have not already donated, uh, please go to VoterGA.org and donate. We are a nonpartisan organization. We um, are, are completely, I, I, don't, I don't take a salary. All of the, the money goes to the court case and the inspections. And uh, if you have already donated, this uh, thank you tonight is for you. All right, so we're going to roll a video that explains what um, what we've been doing in the last couple of weeks from uh, Liza Miller, who is a another one of our volunteers, amazing group of volunteers, and she's a former Miss University of Georgia, and she's going to give you the update right now as I go to the stage, and I'm going to introduce Aviva and another uh, special thing that we've got for you tonight. Yeah, and I think until they get rolling up there, we're still going to be live until they get rolling up there. Is that correct? No, we're not. We're not still live. Well, we are still we're live at the moment. I, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Yeah, so we're all still live at the moment. All right. I love you. I love the setup here. The, the stage is it's a great stage. I was looking at when I came in here. I was like, this is a great, fantastic performance stage, and I think it's really going to allow Aviva, who does, correct me if I'm wrong, but she she creates, she uses her artistic ability to kind of support the cause. So she takes what she does artistically and she channels it into helping, um, you know, uh, what you do. Right. She did the election integrity song. Uh, you might have heard that. It's up on VoterJ.org. Uh, she can, you can go there and, and hear it. She sang that song in front of the legislators. They wouldn't listen to me, but they listened to her, and they passed uh, ballot images and made ballot images public in the uh, entire state of yeah. entire state yeah. of Georgia now. And I think that's fantastic. Cause I know a lot of people who work in the arts. It's often difficult to find a way to channel the way that you use your artistic ability. But for her to actually channel it into the cause of voter integrity and to be able to influence people, because music, song, art, it definitely has a, a, a deeper impact on people than I think just regular statistical information. So when you combine the two together, good research, good fact finding, and good art, then I think you can really have an impact. And I think the two of you together have shown that. Yeah, and, and the way this came about tonight, Brad, uh, was um, Aviva approached me. She says, you know, I really believe in the cause, and I want to support support you. Now, Aviva has no, um, she's not connected with Republicans or Trump or anything. She's completely independent. We've known her from libertarian circles, um, which uh, Monica, you and Monica run in as well. And uh, she just came forward and says, I want to do a, a benefit concert. I said, well, we'll do it in our, um, you know, she was going to come over to the house and do it. I said, well, look, first of all, you know, your band would take up my whole rec room. And then second, I could only have a few friends in. So yeah. I said, let's, let's have a real event. And I want to thank, so we can thank all of our volunteers and all of our donors. You know, that's what I love about what you do, Garland, is you, the first time I met you, when you called in, Monica had you as a guest on the show, and Monica Fresh on WSB, is you came in and you were talking about election integrity, and you were looking at the Karen Handel John Ossoff case, and you thought that John Ossoff actually might have gotten cheated a little bit in that one. I did. And that illustrated to me right off the bat that you are not partisan at all. So they try and frame these voter challenges as people who are just completely right wing and, and all about Trump. But that's just not the case with you. You are truly trying to uh, uh, look for the, the truth about this and, and stand up for election integrity. So whenever there are people who make those challenges to you, and we've seen it, we've had people come on and, and troll, you always like, no, let me answer the questions from the trolls. Uh, bring the questions, and oftentimes they, times they don't, but when they do, you always have a, a, an answer ready. Well, usually, because as you said, they've got, they're running off of the script that yeah. they've gotten, and we've, we've heard all that, those questions right. before in the script.
trip, so it's easy to diffuse that. Yeah, yeah. It makes it easy for me because when friends of mine ask about it, I can say, look, just go look at Garland's stuff, look at his background. The dude is not partisan. The dude does not have a political agenda. He's, his agenda is truly election integrity, and it has been for 18 years, but you're, the, the spotlight has come upon you over the course of the past year or so. Yes. Uh, How does that feel? Unexpectedly. Uh, it's, it's like I'm in a dream. I don't really think. I, I don't feel it. Um, it's just like I'm still the same guy I was yesterday, yeah. and nothing's really changed for yeah. me. I'm just, you know, we've always worked hard on this issue for 20, 18 years, and I'm just working about the same, but I'm working a little bit harder now. It's a 24-7 job these days. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm guessing the past lead up to it, the past uh, 17 years of it, you weren't getting random fact checks that were claiming to quote you. So when, when we'll interview Garland, sometimes I'll just pull up random quotes from the fact check. And I'm like, Garland, did you say this thing that they're debunking? And Garland's like, no, nope, they never even called me. They never even interviewed me. It's just made up. Or, or it's a paraphrase from something that I said, and they've changed the context of it. Yes, it's remarkable. That, and that's intentional by multiple fact checkers. I think their intent is to is to have an agenda. It is not to uh, have uh, you know a, an honest appraisal. Absolutely. Honest and, yeah, those fact checks are the biggest con going on right now. It, it, that is a con yeah. game if I've ever seen one, where they are the arbiters of truth, and, and yet all they do is pull information out of context, twist it around to propagate a lie, to try to divert people from actually getting down to the truth. And they often confirm factual things within the, the in the fact check, and they try and skew it in a way to where it makes people yeah. think that it's completely false. And, and, and the way they claim that it doesn't work is they say, they go they call up somebody, an official, and say, well, the official said that that's wrong. Yeah. And they take the official's word for it. Yeah. All right, are we good to go? Okay, we're going to the stage. Oh, Aviva, if, if we've got the, if Ted's got the, uh, the her video ready to roll, we'll go with that. We're not, we're not ready. Okay, so this is Aviva, um, uh, and I just told the story about how you, we got together on this and how you volunteered to do this, and it was amazing. We're so grateful to you. And this is one of the most creative people I've ever met in my life. We're all amazed uh, at her ability, and it's all, also, I told them earlier, this is the best kept secret in Atlanta. And we're sharing our secret tonight with the entire world. What's the name, what's the name of your band? Aviva and the Flying Penguins. You know, I was talking to Garland a moment ago about it, because I'm in the artistic community too, and I have a lot of friends in the artistic community, and I think it, is, it can be inspirational for people who are in that community when you've taken what you do and you're channeling it towards a cause that you care about, towards Always. voter integrity, and a lot of people look for direction in the arts community. What advice would you give to people who are interested in doing something similar? I mean, I was totally scared to do my music as a living. I mean, it's a complete uphill battle. A complete uphill. The only thing that gave me the courage was when I wrote the song Cannabis Car and I realized a message needs to get out there. And that literally kind of killed those dancing, singing monkeys in my head that yeah. said, you don't deserve to sing because I said, I have to sing. Yeah, Nobody yeah. else is singing. Like, if I don't sing it, no one else will. And I think people can access that about anything. You don't have to be as dramatic as that, like a huge cause, like I'm going for. But if you know in your heart that only you can express what you have inside and the world needs it, then it can give you that courage. So you found a purpose to connect to, and by connecting to that purpose, it took away that inner monologue of doubt. That Because it, it can be focused on you and the judgment or criticism you can get when you're an artist, but when you focus on that purpose, all that kind of fades away. Yeah, I think artists especially, but people in general sometimes are held back by that feeling of, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve all this money, all this friendship, all this love, whatever it is. Like, there's a little voice that's like, I don't deserve that. Like, why do you think you deserve that? And I think that's ego. That is totally ego. We're not here to compare ourselves with others. The whole contest stuff, that's not what music is about. It's really about expressing yourself. Just because you're not making millions of dollars on it does not mean that it's not important for you to do it. I mean, a flower that grows that is so beautiful, nobody's paying that flower money for you to enjoy its beauty. You know, it's just a whole other dimension. Well, you deserve all the credit that you have, have gotten, <laughs> more than you've gotten so far. Thank you. But hopefully 
will fix that. But also, I didn't want to mention the election integrity song. I, I hear you're, you're going to actually play that tonight. Is that right? Yeah, as long as okay. there's time. I know technical so, issues are always well, a thing. No, we, <laughs> we're, not in, we, we're not interrupting your sound. Yeah. So, um, but she, Aviva sang the song to the legislators, the song you're going to hear tonight, the election integrity song. And I could not convince them about anything. We have had a lot of unsuccess. Aviva sings the song, and they make the ballot images public in the state of Georgia immediately after that. So uh, sometimes that we didn't, they, they didn't listen to me. But More than ever. Yeah. I, I was, you know, I've, I've performed on many stages and I'm the most nervous when I go in and testify with songs. It's like that primal fear of like, they're going to shoot me, you know? If I yeah, <laughs> it's such a unique environment to do that. And I can imagine it was, that, uh, yeah, I can imagine it's pretty terrifying. Yeah. That's very, that's brave and bold. And, um, it's great, yeah. Yeah, I do a lot of qigong to keep the energy flowing. Yeah. What is that? Qigong, like Tai Chi. It's like I noticed, especially when I was in there about to sing the election transparency song, that I suddenly got nerves like I hadn't gotten in a really long time. And so I started to do qigong, and I couldn't. Like, I couldn't feel my qi or my energy flowing. And I realized, like, my thighs, like, I was squeezing them so tight. I didn't even realize, and that was constricting my energy flow. So I was like, okay. About that breath. Yeah. 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 Well, I haven't had that problem, I don't think, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, How did you two I, meet each other? Uh, we have a mutual friend um, uh, who you know and you talk about on the show a lot, Catherine Bernard, and uh, we, she's a libertarian, uh, and she's well, kind of a libertarian-minded sort of Republican. But she has a, a vast array of friends, and we met through uh, her uh, years ago. And I've always admired her work. But this time we were put. We want to take it to a level for us as well. Yeah, you got my painted truth album like ten years ago. I did. And that was at another event, which was not even connected with Catherine. So, so we'll be doing a lot of songs from that CD tonight. Awesome, and that's a, that's a, the uh, award-winning CD, <laughs> best album of 2017 by Academia, uh, and uh, uh, Ac Aviva was the 2017 Academia folk singer. Songwriter of the, of the of the year. Really? So uh, That's cool. yeah. So and we're gonna uh, really you're gonna get a real treat tonight. And I see we're just about ready it's so to go. So good to see you in real life, by the way. It's good to yeah. see you too. I've seen a lot of your yeah. videos. I really appreciate you. I've seen what you a lot do. of yours as well. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. I think we met one other time briefly at the last live event, but that was that was very brief. Yeah. Are you getting any heat from doing this? I think people are in denial that I'm doing. <laughs> Like I get a lot of heat from all of my opinions. I mean, it's it's I'm, I'm always I always have some kind of opinion that's against the mainstream vein. Um, and, and I'm used to it, yeah. you know, because I, I I see what's next, you know, and and I'm constantly evolving. And and, and I'm not saying I, I'm better. I just think when there's a lot of evolution, it's like we change our minds and we change yeah. this and we change that. And, and that's what's yeah. important to recognize. I think that the two of you are you take bold positions publicly that go against the grain and a lot of people hold those positions or they're, they're kind of you know, flirting with those positions but they're afraid to take them in public because they fear the backlash uh, of socially oh. and especially like social media now and all that. The gratitude outweighs totally. the backlash. Yeah. And you also inspire people. You give other people a model to do it and that draws other people out. So I think the more bold people can be then the more bold other people can be as well. Yeah and Aviva's very independent minded but she travels in progressive circles. So, yeah. so what's interesting about this because it is a nonpartisan issue, uh, you know, she's willing to step up and, and help us, and uh, and she's probably going to bring a few folks with her as she as we as yeah, we progress. Yeah. I have a few We're friends of mine. That are, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a few friends of mine. I, I, I'm in the theater community, uh, and I have some friends of mine that are kind of in the closet libertarians. I won't out them right now. Don't worry, but uh, they will kind of speak to me. Go, hey man, yeah, you know, I'm on the same board, I'm on the same page. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to think about everything like food because I love food. So <laughs> So it's like, some of us are meat, some of us are potatoes, some of us are vegetables, but like, let's have it all, you know? Let's Speaking of food, we gotta give a shout. Speaking of food, we gotta give a shout out to uh, the Brimstone Restaurant yes. Tavern here in Alpharetta. Okay. They have done a spread for us, far exceeded what we, uh, what little bit we were pay been paying for that. We have chicken kebabs, steak kebabs, uh, meatballs, spinach, artichoke dip, but the best one is candied bacon with Ooh. with whiskey peanut that sauce. Good. Ooh. Uh, I don't eat sugar. Yeah, I know, I know. 
I'm sorry, I can't. I couldn't oh, help it. Okay, that's um, okay. Like I said, something for everyone. Yeah, you, know? you got a lot of roasted vegetables on those kebabs, though. So yeah, I think, you I think can that's cool what you're saying about it. Do you guys, so like the label, sometimes when you have conservative, libertarian, progressive, Democrat, whatever, I think sometimes those labels can uh, pigeonhole people even if they don't fall into it. Nobody believes it's stereo, nobody is the exact stereotype of anything, but when people get labeled certain things, then I think it causes, it has an effect on other people people where they react to the stereotype of what that label is as opposed to the unique person and those person's beliefs. So I, I, I'm always kind of, I, I, I'm very reluctant to kind of adapt a label in, in one way or another. I do lean libertarian in the way I believe, but I do not say that I am a libertarian because I don't want to be boxed in to that stereotype. And It's like idolatry in yeah. a way. You know, it's like, it's like if you believe in God, then there are no idols. There isn't this like one person that you yeah. praise. I mean, I appreciate good leadership, and all good leadership should be praised, and it shouldn't be uh, limited to whether somebody is Democrat or Republican or Libertarian. Like, if someone's a good leader, that's so important, and it's so hard to find them. Absolutely. Especially for the children. But we, mm -hmm. we got to be more grateful to our teachers. Oh, man. Yeah. So that's where, that's where the battle is, is over the education of the youth, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, but the idolatry is in the music industry as well and all of that is very distracting when when you're dealing with leadership. Absolutely. Garland, so, uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, we have a few minutes while we're still getting everything set up there. Yeah. Uh, do you want to give a little bit of your, what got you inspired to get into election integrity? I know it's, you said it was a long story the other day. It is a long story. <laughs> uh, and um, But I, I went to a, a, con a, uh, a concert. <laughs> no, I went to a conference back in 2000 and uh, the short story is that they said you got to be aware of what's coming. This was in 2002 when there was no problems with voting whatsoever. And uh, uh, actually, it was 2000, I'm sorry. And summer of 2000, and I, I went there and they said, beware of these, all these new electronic voting machines coming, and you can, they can program these to flip votes and nobody would know. And so I'm a tech guy. I went there. I said, you yeah. know, I, can, I don't really believe this, but I think I need to check this out. I went, checked it out, and I found out they were right. And then sure enough, two years later, uh, Kathy Cox buys $54 million of this equipment over our objections, including mine. And uh, that's where it all ended, all started. And that, those machines are completely paperless, unverifiable, not auditable. They are not uh, recount capable, and they're not transparent. You know, it's amazing when you have that revelation, you know, that the, the way things we're led to believe that they are, that they're just not at all. Yeah. Are. Oh, Brad, thank you. That is the most important thing for everybody to understand. The elections for the last 20 years in America have been a facade. They're an absolute facade. It's, and, this, and now everybody is learning it. They're all trying to figure it out, and that's why we're growing like crazy, and that's why we have so many volunteers here tonight. Night, and that's why we have so many folks of you watching out there. It's a great turnout tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's great. And uh, what we'll do, we were planning on playing the the um, our, our weekly update from Liza from the University of Georgia. If that doesn't work, we'll just go straight to your uh, video. And uh, uh, Aviva, uh, Aviva, Aviva, and I think that was just see they got it working. Aviva has put together a very special video for, uh, we wanted to explain that voter GA is not me. It's just like, I'm just one guy. And she's put together a video that well, I let you all use my whole song, and you guys had a different video editor. We had a different video editor. <laughs> so, so, uh, so what we're, you're going to see this tonight, and it explains what voter GA is. Who are the, all the people behind Voter GA? And we want you to know it's just not one ugly face out there. It is a 
whole pile of hundreds and actually even thousands of folks behind us, and that's what we're so grateful for. Well, it has to be. You got that on the ground effort because when you, when you do stuff that is worthwhile and people see other people taking actions, it inspires other people to take action as well. And that, that, that's definitely a leadership role that you play. You, you've been inspired through just doing it, through going forward with it, and it's caused other people to do it as well. And you got a great organization. Yeah, it's amazing. We've just grown leaps and bounds in the last year. It's, it's just going through the roof right now. And we'll have new initiatives in the next week or two, and that's going to send us to the, to the next round. Throw it to the video. Sounds like we are ready. ready. So, okay, we are ready. So we're going to, I'm going to see these beautiful faces. I'm going to go upstage, and while, while I'm going upstage, we're going to play our weekly status update from uh, Liza Miller, uh, another volunteer. She is a former uh, university, Miss University of Georgia. So we will be back, and I'll introduce Aviva on the stage, and as well as that video. Voter TA. For those who don't know, Voter TA stands for Voters Organized for Trusted Election.